Come on, baby. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So we are on the way to a play date with one of Adriana's um, really good friends. Actually, two of her friends are going to be there. Um, and it's my friend's daughter and stepdaughter. So really excited. She's going to be so pumped to see them because it's been a while since she's had a play date with them. They don't live in the same town as us. So just like coordinating schedules and everything can get a little tricky. But we just got here. I'm actually finding a parking spot now. Um, I have so much stuff to do today, you guys. Like. So much stuff to fill you in on about like the house hunting and how that's going but i'll tell you guys about that later because i'm about to park um, but i do have a lot of stuff to do and i actually need to go to bath and body works and sephora which happen to be in the mall as well as the play place that we're going to go to we've been here before i think i vlogged it like a while back i came here with my mom and pj this is the place that jordan wasn't able to go to if you guys remember that vlog um because he was too big this is a place kind of just like for toddlers so and she said she was in a different car so i'm gonna try to look for her car now probably gonna have to park somewhere in the sun which is already it's 11 o'clock and it's already 80 degrees outside which is nuts <laughs> not excited for this heat you guys we have had a lot of heat waves the last couple of days um but i don't know where she parked so i'm just gonna park right here get the stroller out and get this little munchkin out I can tell she's getting sleepy, so hopefully this goes well. So we just got to the play place where my friend and her kids are over there. I'm like, stalking Cassidy. <laughs> um, Adriana's running away. They don't, I have to bring all of my stuff, which kind of sucks because I don't want to just leave everything unoccupied. I just don't like that, so. Ugh. I gotta bring everything with me, but let's go follow them. This is like a water thing. Hi Cassidy. Hi. <laughs> She's with Penelope and Tessa. Yeah. Tessa and Adriana are only one month apart, which is really crazy. What is she September what? Four. Do you know that? Oh wow, she's in, October first. So it's like only a month and like three days. Good. Yeah. She has the same birthday as my mom. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Where are you going? Two years old. Yeah. Get the book. playing at the play place of course Adriana fell off of this little bench and hit her head on the ground so it was not a good ending to leave um, she's also really really exhausted she's on a strict nap schedule and it's already 1 30 and she's just doesn't do good without her nap and I still haven't even gone to the grocery store so this is just kind of <laughs> a mess at the moment and I can't believe she even fell she was just crawling and she fell right off the bench and hit her head straight on the ground and I I don't even know how how that happened I really died she just like randomly lost her balance I think because when she gets tired she just doesn't do well like at places so I'm a little flustered if you can't tell um, but we're heading out to have some lunch because none of us have ate we're gonna go to chick-fil-a which is like literally right across the street and my friend and her kids are gonna meet us there so hopefully oh my gosh is that no way <laughs> thanks Adriana you just pulled a Penelope yeah. <laughs> if 
All of my windows are shut because it's pretty hot outside. Adriana ended up not taking a nap. She laid down for like a half an hour and just had quiet time. But she woke up as soon as I stopped the car and just didn't really want to go to sleep. Um, she's down here, but she needs to get a diaper on because during the diaper change, she ran away, went to, ran to my room. That's why I'm in here. Now she's currently taking out all of my clothes. <laughs> I got off the phone with a realtor and um, I wasn't able to vlog the process of the place that I looked at a few days ago. The reason, first of all, the, it was just really, really suspicious kind of the way the place was like ran and the way that like, everything was like held i don't know it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way house was beautiful it was in a brand new neighborhood they were building all new homes there um if you guys follow me on my instagram i did do an instagram stories about it as soon as i was done looking at the house um it was just me and adriana because pj was working late that day but we ended up going that evening and i liked everything but for one the house did not look move-in ready and I specifically had asked the uh, realtor if it was move-in ready and if like everything was the way it was gonna stay. And she said yes, and that blew me away because it literally looked like somebody had just moved out. Um, all of the drawers were really dirty. There were still nails and holes in the wall. Everything was new, meaning like the carpet and like the appliances and everything like that was updated because it's a brand new home. But I was just shocked that like, it literally looked like somebody just moved out. That's the only way that I could really explain it. Also, there was construction going on right, like right behind the backyard. So we would have basically been like hearing all of the construction going on. She didn't know when it was going to end and she wasn't willing to lower the price because of that. So I ended up, uh, we ended up passing on that house. PJ actually didn't mind about the construction. I was the one who was kind of skeptical just because I think of like mom crazy things like if something falls into the backyard from the construction workers like I just kind of think anxiety like that. <laughs> so I was definitely not into wanting to uh, risk like that and even the realtor was like yeah they could like you're right there could you know be stuff that could fall into your backyard and I'm like what? No. No thanks. So we passed up on that. That was the only house that we looked at so far. Also, I'm guessing the only house that didn't really, that didn't want anybody to film in. I thought that was really strange. I did take some Snapchats for PJ and stuff, but I don't, they acted weird like with the phone, which I also thought was kind of weird, but maybe not. Um, it's just every house that I've ever looked at, I was able to film in. So the next couple of houses that we do have coming up this week, I just got off the phone with a realtor and they're gonna start looking for us. We are looking for a three or four bedroom with a backyard, two car garage. Like I gave them all the specifics that we were looking for, decent backyard, things like that. So it'll be nice that I don't have to have, you know, with everything else that I have going on, which I can't share um, everything that I have going on because it's a little surprise and I don't want, to spoil it because it's not done yet. Um, also along with like trying to get my blog together. My blog actually is like 95% done. Actually having somebody work on something really special and like original for my blog and they're on vacation. The designer is on vacation until the 29th. So I can't obviously upload the blog and make it public until I am done with that because I kind of just want everything to be done at the same time and everything to be perfect so I can, you know, publish it and make it live for you guys. So with all that being said, I have a lot of stuff that is going on and then on top of that I'm trying to look for a house for us because our lease is up and we want to move um, And we've kind of already let our landlord know like we're wanting to move and um, that we are going to move so Oh my gosh, is she going potty? Are you going potty, baby? Were you sitting on the potty? She has no diaper on still because she keeps walking over to the potty like she's gonna go to the bathroom so I didn't end up putting one on her. Are you gonna go potty, baby? You go pee pee in there? You gonna go pee pee in there? I don't know, you guys. She has been showing so many signs of wanting to potty train herself. It's amazing that I don't have to, like she's kind of doing it on her own. I'm not like forcing it to happen. So she's just in the bathroom, like wanting to so try So we it just out. got to Trader Joe's. <laughs> I have a lot of grocery shopping to do. She wants to get out. So yeah, let's head in. 
giant cart of stuff. And it's super busy here. <laughs> So we are home from Trader Joe's. Um, it's a little dark in here because we have everything closed up still. Turn the light on. Really hot out. Well, actually, no, it's 75. It's definitely cooled down, but it's, the sun is still beaming and it makes it kind of hot inside. Adriana's having fun in her wagon that I finally took out of my car. <laughs> so she's just chilling in there, which we haven't been in there a while, so she's probably like wondering where it's been. And that's why she's wanting to, oh, are you buckling? Good job. So here's all the stuff. I put some of the stuff away. Well, actually just one thing, which was the ice cream. Cookie butter, yum. Put that away. PJ got soda for himself because I don't drink that. Three Sons, it's Secret Life of Pets. I watched that movie. You bought Club Crackers. You bought Snapped, what, whatever that is. I see Doritos. Snapped? That's not Snapped. Cheese it Snapped? No, no. What's that? Okay, you bought party mix. Party mix. Crackers, okay. Two things of chips. Capri uh, Suns. Capri Suns. Sodas. Lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. Or, <laughs> lasagna. Diapers. That's it? Okay. Adriana, what are you doing? Why are you screaming over here? Adriana, you can't, you can't push it, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, gonna do a little vlog style. So I got... This joint support, for, it's for like working out with glucosamine, you can take them every day. So I got those um, organic apple strawberry. I got macaroni and cheese for the kids. I got some of this sliced French baroche. Really good stuff, we've gotten it before. I got some honey nut O's for everybody. Adriana eats them dry. I got these, which I don't really know what they are, but I think I'm gonna try one. They're raspberry mousse cakes. Two of these yogurts are favorites. This is blueberries and cream, peaches and cream, mango and cream, and vanilla and cream. Um, we need to put those away. The milk is very important. We got organic milk, giant thing of that. Me, mandarin orange chicken, we could have that for one of the dinners. Um, a turkey breast for sandwiches. This one actually um, is really good, but they had a lower sodium one, so I got that one instead, which is going to try to be hard because we got a new refrigerator and it's much smaller in the inside. It just has more storage. So we've been running into that issue about it being smaller. So it's harder to organize things. I got some half and half for my coffee. I got some yummy little, oops, did I just make a hole in that? I got some carrots. <laughs> got some jasmine rice. I usually get brown rice, but PJ will not eat brown rice. So I like jasmine rice too, and I just ended up getting that. Um, I got some of these whole milk yogurts, same as the one that she had earlier, strawberry, beet, and berry. So it has beets in it, which is super good for her as well. Receipt. Some of our favorite waffles, sweetened with agave nectar. I got some turkey meatballs for spaghetti. Oh yes. We have been missing out on oh, meatballs. Is that rice? Yep, for our mandarin chicken. Got some sweet potato fries for one of my lunches. Some cheese, sliced cheese for sandwiches. For a dinner as Margarita? well. Yum. Actually, I tried a different one. This is the handmade four cheese. So excited for that. It says it's imported from Italy. Oh, Ooh, fancy. Got some ground turkey for dinner. Do you want me to freeze it or should I leave it out in the fridge for tomorrow? Freeze it, right? Okay, well Are we need to clear some freezer tomorrow? room. I got some whole wheat pasta. We are pasta fiends, you guys know that. Um, apple cereal balls. These, and it's a really weird reason why I got these strawberry licorice twists, but the reason why I got licorice was because my doctor said that they're good for my stomach. So I don't know, I hate licorice, but I got them because my doctor said so. <laughs> some regular applesauce because PJ said the mango ones were bad, so. Have you had one? No, I have not, but I got the regular apple. Some regular spaghetti. Okay, well I got some cheese tortellini so we could mix it for a dinner too. Spinach mango pear yogurt that Adriana really likes, which is good because spinach has iron in it. Some raspberry jelly for sandwiches. I don't know why their jellies are so tiny at Trader Joe's, but they're really yummy. So, got those. I got a ton of bars because we were completely out. So I got some fiber bars. I got some chocolate bars. I got two of these um, protein bars for myself because I need to start having more protein in my diet. 
the rest are bars so blueberry strawberry and this one is peanut butter some jelly beans because i was feeling like some jelly beans at the store <laughs> vodka sauce for spaghetti more of these strawberry ones because they're really good bananas whole wheat bread some eggs a little carton of eggs regular marinara sauce more mac and cheese this one's the white pasta one got some alfredo sauce because i want to start having a different kind of sauce sometimes some strawberries and more bars so we're gonna try to fit all this stuff now because this fridge is looking really too small for all of this so for dinner tonight we made chicken and cheese enchiladas with rice so we kind of mashed it up but they're all cooling off now adriana i'm going to offer her some of that but i made her mac and cheese just because I do have a picky one. She has marker on her face. <laughs> Decided to let her color after the bath and now she's has marker everywhere again. She doesn't always like the dinner that we have, so I always make her something separate just so I know she's actually going to eat something. So we gotta let this stuff cool off. PJ went in the room to go and do something, he said, and he wouldn't tell me what it is. And I think he shut the, yeah, he shut the door. So I don't know what it is, but, honey? Don't come in. Okay. You're freaking me out. He wouldn't tell me why he was going in there. He just said like he needed to go do something. So no idea. I'll let you guys know what he's doing. <laughs> so I'm going to end the vlog here. I actually was editing and I realized that I forgot to end the vlog. Also, I just wanted to share about the last clip what PJ was actually doing. He was just cleaning the room and making the bed and he organized a bunch of stuff and he was kind of just surprising me by cleaning the bedroom. There was like laundry that needed to be done and folded and I was kind of stressing out about all the stuff that I had to do and he ended up just going in there and surprising me and doing it for me. So that's what he was doing in the bedroom and I just forgot to vlog afterwards. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I've uploaded it again subscribe for more videos i have tons of stuff coming you guys i'm really stoked and i think you guys are going to love everything and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye i don't want nobody stabbing me with love don't wanna waste no time getting my feelings hurt i believe in those things we don't know much of